Hi, this is another how to Amazon video for you. This is for those of you who are hiring VAs and others to help uh, work with your Amazon inventory, uh, perhaps to correct the suppressed listings, uh, to add some tags and some better descriptions, whatever you need them to do for your inventory. First, watch my other video that shows you how to add a user. And now we'll talk about their permissions. First, of course, you log into your Amazon Seller Central account. Got to be in there to do any of this. Go over to Settings and slide down to User Permissions. Once that screen opens up, you'll see all the different people that you've added as, you, as users on your Amazon account. Um, I'm going to choose Mari Carr. She's one of my uh, VAs, and I want her to work on my inventory this week, so I'm going to go back and make sure that she has access. There's a couple different things. Um, obviously, Mari Carr does not need to deal with my advertising budget. Uh, I really don't want her in there messing with the orders because she doesn't need to deal with that. She doesn't need the order reports, adjustments, or shipping confirmations. Doesn't need to deal with that. Uh, would prefer she doesn't mess with store design and foes and policies. Uh, reports, however, she may need. I'm going to give her admin uh, access to all of these reports because um, she's going to need all of the reports so she can look and see what inventory is being suppressed, what inventory is uh, being uh, is inactive, um, what, what needs all of theirs. Um, some of the stuff she doesn't really need, but I'm going to go ahead and give her access to all the reports just in case. All right, settings. I do not want her to mess with the settings. Gift options. I'm going to give her permission on gift options. I'm going to give her permission on managing my cases. Now, the reason I give her that is if there's an issue with a product that she doesn't understand, I want her to be able to open a case with seller support and say, this product is incorrect and uh, get them to correct that product. Uh, I have no problem with her working on that. She doesn't need to be in my tax settings or, or she may need to set up my shipping, so I'll let her have that. Uh, user permissions, I'm not going to do that because I don't want her adding anybody else to the account. Media upload, she's not going to be doing that. Uh, downgrade and upgrade my account, she doesn't need to deal with that. And I certainly don't want her messing with my Amazon lending account. Thank you very much. So I've given her the permissions that I think she needs. I've given her the success settings and the gift options, this kind of stuff, shipping settings. Uh, I am, You know what? I'm going to give her the tax settings because she's going to need to set the inventory as taxable and in the right category. Category. So I need to make sure she has that. The reports, I want her to have access to all the reports she might need. Back up here on inventory, this is the critical one. I'm going to give her admin rights and I'm going to make sure all of this is all the way that she can do because I want her to be able to access my inventory. Most important thing on this one, slide all the way down and hit the continue button. This is the most problematic issue is when folks hire uh, Cat Simpson Enterprises to work on their Amazon suppressed listings, they purchase the service and they pay for the service and then they forget to add the user permissions. And so they're frustrated because nothing's getting done. My VAs are frustrated, they can't get in there and work. So please make sure when you add someone into my VAs into your Amazon user accounts that you turn on these particular settings, especially if they're gonna be working in your inventory. And notice what we gave them. We gave them permission to view and edit all of these different settings in your inventory. We gave them admin permission to all of the reports so they can pull the reports they need to work on your inventory. Uh, and we also gave them admin rights to all of your inventory settings. And that's really all you need to do. Thank you very much. Don't forget to go to thatcat.com, sign up for the newsletter. We have new services for Amazon sellers all the time.